We are ending Croctober with five easy dump and go recipes. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and ending out Croctober. So this whole month of October, I've shared a crock pot video. I did some freezer meals, I did a dessert, a breakfast, just a variety of things. But we are ending the month with five pretty easy, just dump and go dinners. So I have a few chicken, I have a beef one, and then a vegetarian one. And you guys are not only gonna get five today, you guys are gonna get 10, because I am collabing with Jay Morrell. I will have her YouTube channel listed down below. If you guys do not know who she is, and you love your crock pot, and you love freezer meals, you need to go check out her videos because she is a homeschool mama and super, super busy, I swear. She gets it all done. She does some cleaning on her channel and a lot of prepping, which is, I feel like, very important when you have a larger family. I love to prep as well. So definitely go check her out. Leave a lemon emoji in her comments so she knows that I sent you, and definitely subscribe if you are loving what she is putting out. So if you guys are coming over from Jay Morrell's channel, hi, my name is Vanessa, and I would love for you guys to check Check out some other videos. If you like it, stay a while, hit that subscribe button, and join me in all my upcoming videos. We're getting close to the holidays, y'all, and I am super excited. So let's go ahead and jump right into these crock pot dinners. First, dump and go. This is a full on chicken dinner. Everything that you need for dinner is just gonna go into the crock pot. So right here, I have some bone in chicken thighs. Now, if you weren't worried about this being a true dump and go, you could sear these first just to lock in the moisture, but it isn't necessary. So if you are just running low on time and you want a true dump and go, you could skip that and just put your chicken thighs in the crock pot. And I'll show you guys how I'm gonna layer it in just a second. But on my chicken, I do have salt and pepper and then some thyme and rosemary just sprinkled on top. When I put it into the crock pot, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna sprinkle the same four on the other side so it's nice and coated. Other than that, I've got some green beans, baby Dutch yellow potatoes, some minced garlic, you could totally use fresh if you had it, and then an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. So first up, I have the one and a half pound bag of potatoes in the bottom of my crock pot, and then I have one pound of green beans just right on top of that. You could cut these smaller if you want to. I like cutting them when they're going into soups, but for a meal like this, when they're just green beans on the side, I keep them nice and long. Next, I put my bone in chicken thighs on top of that. And remember, I did season both sides with the salt, pepper, rosemary, and thyme. And last up is the garlic and the tomato sauce. And because when you're putting garlic on things, it kind of just clumps. I wanted it to really get over everything. So what I do is I took the minced garlic, I used two teaspoons, I put it into the tomato sauce, mixed it up, and now all the garlic and the tomatoes are all together and it will go just straight on top. And now there's not clumps of garlic. It's pretty well mixed into the tomato sauce. Okay, I can get my lid on and I am going to cook this on high for not four hours, but I'm gonna go to five hours because my chicken is not completely thawed out. You could probably get away with four hours on high if your chicken is completely thawed, but mine's still a little frozen. So I'm gonna go up to five hours. A few hours later, dinner is served a true dump and go. So I've already made up a one plate. It's definitely not the prettiest, but it's gonna taste amazing. The chicken thighs are nice and tender, and I went ahead and cut up the potatoes. You could totally cut the potatoes beforehand if you wanted to, but true dump and go fashion for this specific recipe, I really just dumped everything in. But I wanted to show you guys how nice and creamy the potatoes are after about five hours. So I'm gonna make everybody's plate, and we are going to dig in. 
All right, another very easy just jump and go for the crock pot is a take on a taco dish. So use whatever kind of chicken you want. I have these chicken tenderloins, which I love to use for taco night just because they are super easy to shred. Then I have less than half a bag of corn. I wish I had some more, but uh, this will be just fine. A can of black beans. I am going to drain and rinse these. And then as far as seasonings, I'm going to use chili powder, cumin, oregano, and then instead of cayenne pepper, I'm gonna use this chili lime. I think it'll be really yummy in this dish. I picked this up from Trader Joe's. I'm also going to use a little bit of minced garlic, and I'm going to put this entire 16 ounce package container of salsa and the crock pot as well. So again, just dump and go. And for this type of dish, whenever I'm going to be shredding meat inside the crock pot, I do not like to use a liner. So I've got my chicken in there first, then I'm just going to add in a little bit of frozen corn that I have, black beans that I drained and rinsed, the 16 ounce container of salsa, and now for the seasoning. So I don't really measure. If you had a taco seasoning blend or a packet, you could totally add that in. I'm gonna add probably half a tablespoon of garlic, more or less, depending on how much garlic you prefer. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the cumin, a little bit of the oregano, but I love chili powder, so I am gonna go a little bit heavier with the chili powder. Same thing with the chili lime. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier than the oregano and the cumin, and that is it. Okay, so I am going to stir this up just so all the seasonings and everything get nice and combined and mixed over the chicken. All right, time for the lid. And I'm actually going to leave the house for a little bit. So I'm gonna cook mine on a low, pretty much just low and slow all day. But if you are in a hurry or you were starting this closer to dinner time, you could cook it on high for just a couple hours. Okay, after several hours on low, my chicken was super tender. It didn't even take me long at all to shred it. I just used two forks. Normally when I shred chicken, if it's not mixed with anything, I use a hand mixer, goes by pretty quickly. Um, but when I have other things mixed in, I just shred it the old fashioned way with some forks. So now this would be super good over rice or in some kind of like taco style, quesadilla, anything like that. Just super easy and the hard part is already done for you. Okay, today's dump and go is a vegetarian chili. So there is just a tiny bit of prep because I'm opting to cut up my own onion and mince my own garlic, but you could totally, if you had minced garlic on hand already, and if you bought the chopped onion in the freezer bags, then it is a true jump and go. But I do have just a little bit of prep just to throw everything in the crock pot and then it's going to cook up. So for this recipe, I'm going to use one cup of quinoa. I have one medium red onion that I'm going to peel and dice up. I'm going to use four cloves of garlic. We definitely love garlic in this house. I have two cans of dark red kidney beans. I am going to drain and rinse these. Two cans of tomato sauce. These are each 15 ounces. Then I have two cans of diced tomatoes. I opted for the no salt added just to take a little bit of the extra salt out. Also have a one can of light red kidney beans and then one small little can of the chopped green chilies. So for this recipe, you're going to need five cups of liquid, four cups of vegetable broth and one cup of beer. However, I'm not, I'm opting not to use beer, so I'm going to use this vegetable bouillon base, and I'm going to just make sure I have enough for five cups of liquid to add into my chili. So for seasonings, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of ground cumin, a little bit of salt, pepper, and sugar, just like a pinch of each of them. You can always add more salt and pepper after it's done cooking, that way everybody can really season it like they want to, at least that's the way I do it in my family. 
and really you guys just dump everything in your crock pot all right once you have everything just dumped in your crock pot give it a good stir make sure everything is all mixed up get your lid on and I am starting this around lunchtime so I'm gonna cook it on high for three to four hours if you were starting it in the morning you would just put it on low for six to eight hours okay a few hours later and the vegetarian chili is ready to eat the house smells amazing now I am going to serve this up with some cornbread shredded cheese and you guys could use whatever toppings you want sour cream green onion really anything you could serve this over rice if you wanted to to really bulk it up but we are just having this and some cornbread and shredded cheese nice and easy for this cool fall night okay next dinner and i'm back with chicken this would be really good with turkey as well but i have a ton of chicken so i'm trying to use the meat that i have on hand and this is actually you guys are seeing this after the fact but this is the first dinner that we are having in our new home, so yay. And I don't have my plates unpacked, so I'm working with some paper plates <laughs> right now. But for this recipe, I am using four chicken breasts. These are still a little frozen, so I'm gonna cook it a little bit more on the longer side. And then I have a little over a cup each of sliced celery and chopped carrots. Then I'm using one 32 ounce container of chicken broth and then a 14.5 ounce can of chicken broth. And if you're using turkey as your meat instead of chicken, you could totally use turkey broth. That would be really good with this as well. I'm going to toss in three bay leaves and then for the seasoning, salt and pepper to taste, I'm gonna do maybe a teaspoon and a half of garlic because we love garlic and then a teaspoon and a half or a little over a teaspoon of thyme and basil. So that's everything that I'm going to just dump into my crock pot and then a little bit later, like 30 minutes before we want to eat, that's when I'm going to add in the instant brown rice. If you guys don't like using instant, you like using regular rice, you could use white rice, you are going to need to cook that on the stove. I would not recommend cooking that in the crock pot for as long as you're going to need to. It's going to get mushy. So I'm going to go ahead and dump everything that I just told you guys, except for the brown rice, into my crock pot. Okay, all of my ingredients are in the crock pot. And if your chicken is completely thawed, you should just be fine with on high for four hours, but mine is a little bit frozen. So I am gonna still cook mine on high, but it might be closer to six hours until the chicken is completely cooked. And then we will add our brown rice at that time. Okay, my chicken is done. Oh, you can see how hot it is fogging up the camera. And I actually only needed to cook it for about four hours. And you could take it out, use a hand mixer to shred your chicken. It works pretty quickly, forks, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use these claws. <laughs> I got these at Target last summer and i am just been unpacking today. So I'm gonna get both of them and just claw up and shred my chicken and then I am going to add my rice. Okay, so my chicken is shredded and now I'm going to add in my one cup of minute or instant brown rice. And I did wanna share that my husband is actually eating very low carb, so I did go ahead and pull a bowl out for him. So he's still going to be able to eat with us and not have to worry about making something else, but I just wanted to share that, that if you were more on the low carb, if you did not want the rice, it is yummy just now without adding the rice. But I need to bulk it up a little bit for the kiddos. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this up a little bit. Get my lid on. I did turn it to low while I was shredding it, but I'm putting it back on high and the rice only needs to cook for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, your rice is done and your chicken and rice soup is ready to serve up. This is so good and fairly easy dump and go for these cold nights that are coming up quickly. Okay, last but not least is crock pot Philly cheese steaks. And for this recipe, I have just under two pounds 
of beef sirloin that I went ahead and sliced up. Then I have two green bell peppers that I sliced and one pretty large onion sliced as well. Now you could add mushrooms to this recipe, but most of us in this family do not like mushrooms. <laughs> so I omitted those, but you could put about four ounces or so of sliced mushrooms in here as well if you like them. I don't need this huge thing of beef broth. I'm only gonna use about a third of a cup. And then as far as seasonings, so for the garlic powder, I'm gonna use half a teaspoon. And then this is some homemade burger seasoning that I made. I will have it linked down below or if I can find the link that I followed or I'll have it written out um, because I don't remember what's in it right now off the top of my head. But I'm going to use this. If you have steak seasoning, you could use that. I just really like putting this on meat, so I've been doing that a lot lately. And I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of that. Then I have some pepper that I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle over it if, um, I'm pretty sure this has salt in it. So I'm not gonna add more salt, but I can always add salt after the fact. But if you are using a steak seasoning that doesn't have salt, you could add a little salt in as well. And then the parsley, I'm going to use about a quarter teaspoon, just a little bit of that. And this is just, I'm gonna dump all of this in the crock pot and we're gonna save this provolone cheese for later. Once I have all my ingredients, except for that provolone cheese in my crock pot, I am going to stir it all together because I want everything to get nice and incorporated. The seasonings really to get over all of the ingredients. Time to get my lid on. So you could cook this on high for two to three hours, but I'm gonna do low for, I'm gonna check it at five hours. You could do four to six. I'm gonna check it at five hours and see if it is ready to go. Oh my gosh, my house smells so good. So five hours, definitely long enough. My meat is very, very tender. And like I mentioned, it smells absolutely delicious. So you can cover the top with however many slices you want. I love me some cheese. So we'll see how many out of this 12 pack of provolone sliced cheese I can get on top of this. Okay, so I ended up putting nine on there. I fit about seven and then I just started overlaying some of it because we love cheese. So I'm just going to let this sit here on warm until the cheese melts and then dinner is served. Super easy and delicious that crock pot meal. All right, dinner is served. So if you guys like these recipes, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the other five on Jay Morrell's channel, which is in the description. And let me know, if you guys could make any one of these recipes, let me know which one you guys are gonna try first in the description box. And if you wanna see me make anything specific in my crock pot, let me know that as well. I love getting video ideas from y'all. You guys definitely help me out and I wanna share what you guys wanna watch. So that is it for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.